Oh, there we go. A little slow on the uptick. Um, I guess we'll try one more time. Uh, 12, 12, 2, 12. That seems about right. We'll load in the auto save. Chances are this is going to crash in my Devastator factory, at which point I think I'll just start a new game. Um, and we'll talk about where I might want to do that. I'm not sure where I would want to start a new save. I guess I'd start in the grassy fields. I feel like I'd work there all the time, but a new save to just experience the story, I would, um, I would know where I'm going a little bit more in the grassy fields. It's also a nice biome. Probably where a lot of people would start as well. So we'll see if I don't last very long here, we'll know that it's definitely Devastator happening. Ah, we are in the woods. I think I was going down here to the brake train. Pretty sure. Uh, in the map. Yep. Looks like everything's been updated as to what we did last. Don't know what that is and why I can't click on it, though. Well, we can at least double check the uh, Green Valley resources while we're over here and see if that prolongs the day a little bit. Uh, I would really like to delete this node, but I don't know why it's not showing up. no longer a coal node here, so that is ahead of me somewhere. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of deleting. I think happening in this area, which is fine because it's uh, it was never all that pretty anyway. Very much function over fashion, right? So I just don't know what that node is and why I can't get rid of it. It's a map marker. Oh, cool. I can select it that way. Now I can highlight it. Remove. There we go. That makes me happy. <laughs> I should also turn on crates. I feel like there are lots of those. Uh, maybe I should put that on the radar. Where are you, Mr. Crate? Oh, 
behind me. Somewhere here? Man, there's a lot of those things. I don't see them. Try to remove them when I see them. You're not on this mountain somewhere, are you? Man, the biofuel is so good. No, nope, don't fall off. I don't know where that crate is, so we'll turn those off for now. Uh, there. All right, we will go to, I guess, uh, scavenger, scavenger. Savannah Scavenger. Is it Savannah? I didn't think it was Savannah. I thought it was Green Valley. find it when we delete everything. Uh, D scavenger is Devastator. That's the one... Uh... Oh. I guess I have to go around the horn. Yeah, Devastator Scavenger is um, the one up ahead. So this, unfortunately, is something we've experienced before. Uh, what happens here is that the train is going to take the shortest route. And unfortunately, the shortest route has a train on it. Now, the anticipation in Satisfactory is that that train is never going to be there forever. It's eventually going to pull away. The problem is that there is a free... Uh, one, of, one of these stations is empty. Uh, one of the trains is not here. Do we have the... They should all be... Yeah. So, yeah, is this one over here. So, uh, this train station here is empty. And the train is not smart enough... To know that and i don't know how you fix that like if you had all these trains were full on purpose and they were unloading you would think that this guy would just choose a different road it's um yeah it's a it's something lacking i feel in the ai for trains i mean it's a unique experience i think it's a very specific use case. So we should go straight. No. is oh because I did not turn on self-driving something to be aware of and build around you are correct we should go left here 
Yes. I find that these arrows don't change until the last minute on autopilot. And it's very strange. I know it's not the most exciting day one, I think, for stream, um, because of all the um, the checking we have to do. But I, I hope that at least we can provide some um, information for people that are not starting over for 1.0. That is still accurate. I'm going to hide resources iron one and actually this is western slopes we should change this scavenger selection selection station i should call this something else be consistent with my sheet anyway Savannah Scavenger. Let's call this Western Slopes. No, uh, Green Valley. The reason why I call it Green Valley. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Can I do anything? Uh, all right we're not hitting our production consistently in valley scavenger okay so um where's my map that is the biome map so technically I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's called the Green Valley, even though it's not green. It's it's right along one of the lines of the quadrants, and um, it's just an easy way to describe where we are, because uh, the western slopes is actually the green the green space. And so we were, I think, accurate in that our iron was a pure uh, devastator north iron smelting. I think that's what we have with a drive sheet as well. This is Western Slopes. We want Green Valley. Iron one pure marked 5,600 per minute. That's good. Copper is a normal. Mark 2, 250 at 300 per minute. Copper is right over here. Three hundred per minute. Normal. Copper also checked out. That's good. Coal. We've got one, two, three, and four. They are all normal and they're all overclocked to do 300 per minute. This is normal. I don't think this area has changed much. Normal. This is mark two overclocked, mark two overclocked. And 
another normal node. Mark two, overclocked to 250. Where is the fourth one? Is that you? Yeah. Okay, so all of those have remained the same. They all check out. And that's really outside of the limestone. That's all of the resources that are being used here. There's really not much on this hill. We've got all this stays the same. There is a little, there's a crate here somewhere, apparently. Where are you, Mr. Crate? These are the, the little crates of shame that get left behind when you build stuff or destroy stuff and you don't have room in your inventory. Oh, that's an autosave. I thought it was going to crash. <laughs> so I got the cave entrance and that's good. Uh, I'm just going to mark that. I don't think I've explored that. Let's do maybe cautionary yellow. And crate. Where is the crate? see it. I guess it could be hiding underneath one of these things. I want to remove them just to have like less objects in the world, but like can't remove it. I can't oh, I'm nowhere near it. Unless it's in the cave. This just looks like a throughput place. I should be looking right at it. I don't know what to tell you. The footsteps are definitely different. I'm noticing in a good way. Like I feel like it's more robust. Yeah, I don't know where that crate is. That's annoying. Okay, well, forget about that. It says there's another one over here, too. Inside the pillar, I guess, maybe? I'll wait until I redesign this place to really worry about it. Like it's under here somewhere would be my guess, right?
Yeah, no idea. This is not the easiest place to get around logistically. There's a lot of hoops and jumps and actually I can get rid of this too. This doesn't need to be here. Can we do a Mark II yet? That must be in the MAM somewhere. This whole area needs to be designed to look nice. Before we go anywhere near Devastator, we'll save the game. So that's good. I'm glad we got the Green Valley sorted. Uh, oh, I didn't check the limestone. The only thing. That is... Normal. Devastator via scavenger. I don't think that's going anywhere. I think that's just going into a box. Resources. Claimed as normal. So it's not doing anything differently. So I don't need to go down there. I just need to double check the sheet. Uh, underclocked. Constructors one concrete double container on site. That is more than likely what's happening. So that's, I'm looking at this right here. So I guess I will pop down. Yeah. Really good chance that this is exactly what's going on. Uh, CJ, no, I did not figure out the crashes. We we lasted an hour. It's I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with Devastator. Um, so we've got all the trains off right now. Uh, but there's something happening in Devastator, and I don't know what it is. There's some sort of update that's going on. Uh, so that is accurate on the sheet, but it is not accurate on my map. There's another box right there, too. And that could be underneath any of these. Like, oh, God. Not going to spend all day hunting down crates. That's going to drive me crazy. Let's just... Let's just ignore those. Because that's... There's a lot of those. And I'm not entirely sure they're real. Okay, so we'll save the game again. Just over this one is fine. And we'll try going to uh, construction two. Devastator Hub. Not sure what's going to happen here. We have updated the drivers since. I don't know whether that's an issue. Oh, this is going to go around the horn. 
Same problem. I'm gonna get stuck again. We'll find out the fast way. Hopefully Devastator isn't too tedious to fix. Yeah, the problem is it's not the actual gameplay that's the problem. It appears to be some sort of graphical loading issue where something happening in Devastator is crashing the game, and I don't know what it is. I'm sure flying at it at breakneck speeds in a hypertube doesn't help either. I don't know whether it's uh, belt loading. I don't know whether it's a, a game error, but here we go. Crash. So yeah, there's something happening within Devastator. That is not great. That's not great. Yep. And unfortunately, I can't be near it long enough to, um, can't be near it long enough to figure out what's going on. Well, hmm. When I was on break, did the train get all the way down to Megatron without any issues? Does anybody remember? It is frustrating, CJ, yeah. You think it did? All right, we'll try one more. And I will stay away from Devastator. Let's see. Got past Megatron? Okay. So that was another... I don't think it's a timing thing. Uh, I, I We've been up for five minutes and crashed. We've been up for 26 minutes and crashed. We've been up for an hour and crashed. So uh, to me, it is the proximity to Devastator. Which is unfortunate. It stopped at Megatron and moved on. Yeah. So again, like I think it's it's proximity to whatever's happening in the core of Devastator, but I've got no idea what's going on. forgot that this doesn't have a U-turn. Scavenger is the one train that does not go through the roundabout. Which I need to fix. It was kind of fun to see the... Um, cone of light in front of it.
So it's definitely in the middle of Devastator. I wonder if there's like a... I certainly haven't hit the limit on things built. That can't be the case. Oh, I like I like the the function of the roundabout is okay. I just it's not central. It feels like it's in the wrong place. So the good news is, if I decided to try and salvage the save, if it is a section in the middle of Devastator, I could delete that and keep Megatron, because this is the real reason I don't want to redo everything. Some more Samor. Maybe leave that there for now. And more Summer Slope, too. I knew there was one of these kicking around. I also don't have a gas mask on me. Oh, yeah, it's on my head. So what I'm curious about is whether or not the nodes over here have changed at all. And so these are four oil nodes. And I think there's two pure and two normal. So resources. And that does not look good. And map markers. Yikes. It's pure, but we've lost four of our markers. That's not good at all. So this might be a moot point. How are we still generating... Oh no, they're all there. Okay. Claimed, 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 and claimed. I guess I just needed to refresh. A lot more happening up there. Thought I've claimed those two as well. I wonder why these are not showing up as thing permanent. Hmm.
Man, the water looks a lot better. It's very cool. So there's a main grid switch that I said I didn't have. Oh, there's a... The boombox is here, somewhere. Where did I leave that? I can hear it. That is really funny. <laughs> That just a game glitch? Left of the tank. Oh, I see it. Wow. That is wild. How did that get up there? Thank you. These have got a remodel too. I don't remember them having like a triple shell on them. Really cool. This is 600 per minute on a pure node. Two Megatron, that's it. And I need to number these. What are we gonna call these? Uh, your normal, your normal. I'd say one, two, three, four. Where do we go top down? Probably one, two, three, four, right? I don't think they're being combined. Uh, oh, they are. This makes a new noise, too. A lot quieter. So we've got four nodes, but we've got three pipes. So I'll have to figure out what's going on here. This looks like it is just doing its own thing. So, we'll still number the nodes. Probably top to bottom would make sense. This is two, this would be three. And this would be four. I really don't know if I'm wasting my time. If I can't save Devastator, then I don't know exactly how to proceed.
This is Megatron Power Facility. So I've got these a little backwards. Four is on its own. I obviously numbered them here, but didn't number them on my map. How do I get out of the full screen? There we go. So the normal, the two normals are more than likely the ones that are combined, would be my guess. That's probably why how I named them. Some weird sound effects as I run along. Stuff kind of cutting in and out. So this is normal. Yeah, it's like the footsteps and the oil noise don't really want to work together. So this is normal, but we don't combine them right away. You'd think that we would, but instead we run two pipes. Probably just because it looks better. We've got four pipes now. Ah, there we go. Then we've got three. So here is where the two normals combine. And that is... I had renamed them one and three and on my sheet it's uh, three and four. For the sake of keeping this simple, what I'll do is I'll rename them on the map. So call this four. Call this three. And we'll do one and two. All right, so one and two are both pure, and three and four are both normal. And then we've got one and two are both pure, three and four are both normal and they're going into refiners. Yeah, as long as the numbers match, I agree. So the question that I have is if the recipes here have changed. And none of this looks very good. My plan was always to put it underneath this highway. It does that close to the end here. Goes in a nice, nice triple, triple line. Model for that's changed too, I think. 30 in, 40 and 20. are loud. 
30 in, 40 and 20. Uh, refineries are 60, so I'm missing some details here. Thirty crude oil per minute, which would be eighteen hundred. And then out. is heavy oil residue and it was 40 per minute and polymer resin I said it was 20 So that should be 1,200, which is what the number that looks like we have. And that should be 240, which is the number we have as well. Oh, I keep wrong buttons. Not 240, 2,400. And this is doing an alternate heavy oil residue recipe. be going just fine green lights across the board we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fifteen that one in the end is a little bit slow this is a massive facility why are you slow not getting enough oil just slowly building up. So that, what did I say? It was 15, 30, 15, 30 is 60. A lot of green lights. Happy about that. So it does not look like that recipe has changed. You can see through the glass a lot better now too, which I love. It makes me want to use it more. Like that looks awesome. Now this recipe changed 60 polymer resin and 20 water uh, polymer res refineries 60 polymer resin and white resin and 20 water that has not changed that's good
and then 40 polymer resin and 40 water. Twenty out, and also twenty out. Okay, cool. That's all checking out. So what I'm really curious about is the blender recipe, because the blender recipe is how we make our diluted fuel, and that is how we fuel all of our um, upstairs power, which is what's giving us the full the full sixty thousand megawatts. And so what's interesting about this place is that there's not a lot of belts compared to Devastator. So I'm wondering if Devastator has got belts going on or whether it's something else. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember the animations on these. That's cool. I knew about this. I don't remember that part. That's cool. Six blenders, 630 per minute. That's the totals. 50 and 100 to 100. I thought we were going to get better ratios, but I could be wrong. Fifty oil residue. I'm going to change that to be the top. Fifty heavy oil residue per minute and one hundred water per minute equals one hundred diluted fuel. That's what it said, right? Correct. I think maybe the difference is that our fuel generators are going to be doing more power. 48 blenders. That's 4,800. That's all tracking, right? Fuel generation, 400. 12 meters cubed per minute. So now I need to figure out whether the gens are pulling in the same amount. Why is that showing up directly above me? My space elevator is nowhere nearby. That's so weird. Uh, up. This looks like up. More up. This place is just so giant. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate it. This all that goes down. This goes up again. But we're on a fuel level, I think. Yes, we are. This is going to be so confusing to wrap my head around. These are still loud. We're getting more power, but we're consuming more fuel.
What did I say? Shouting? Can you hear me over it? It's probably it's pretty loud. Uh, yeah, they just they were adjusting the volume of stuff. Uh, this has gone up. Uh, my notes say that this used to do. Um, Twelve per minute. Uh, and um, it now does twenty. So new math. Yeah, she's a loud floor. I'm going to have to adjust the volume of some stuff if I'm going to be working up here at any time soon. Uh, stream, is that one hour since last crash? Thanks very much. Void presence, the Notre Dame Lego set came today. It's taunting me as I can't build until the weekend. Oh, that's a, that's a pain. I know what you mean. I got a brand new camera today and I can't do anything with it until the extra gear for hooking it up comes on Thursday. <laughs> so... I'm in the same kind of boat. Uh, so we're getting... I don't think I'm going to be... I'm, I'm probably not getting all of my fuel gens. I'm probably using my fuel up before it gets to the top floor. So 50 fuel gens for 600 meters cubed line or... 25 fuel generators per 300 meter line. Six bays of 25. 16 bays of 25. I think I only need a lot less now. So I'll be able to get the same 60. You're still getting the same 60,000 megawatts out of the 1800. Where is it? 1800. Um, you can't see on my mouse. Uh, drive. Can you see on my mouse? Yes, you can. Um, so over here, we've got 1800. Um, coming in for crude oil. We're still going to get the same 60,000 megawatts out. We're just not going to need 400 fuel generators to do it. Because this recipe is the same. This recipe is the same. So we're still making 4,800 meters cubed per minute of diluted fuel. What we're not doing is consuming 12 per machine. We're consuming 20 per machine. So it's um it's going to be 4800 divided by 20. So instead of 400 fuel generators, we need 240 fuel generators. Well, that is going to make this place look a lot less impressive. That means I have to take down half of what I built. Although I was thinking, how cool would it be to put like summer sloop power augmenters on the top of this? That would be kind of fun. That's uh, 4,800 
could always tank in more fuel from another place uh, if power is needed. I could do that. I, I might not rip them down. I may just unhook them. Uh, the other thing that I could do would be to keep the 400 going, but reduce um, their, like, take them down from 100% to 60%, whatever that is. Ah, it's not even, it's not a nice number. Sorry, other way around. It is 60%, yeah. Yesterday there was 300 viewers on Satisfactory on Twitch, now there are 63,000? Well, they're not here. I can tell you that. I appreciate the small but dedicated audience, because I know I'm doing something very different. Uh, so... We're going to have the same, I think, right? So this would be... Uh, 250 megawatts equals 250 times Joel, as a viewer, I enjoy watching people enjoy themselves. So if Minecraft are satisfactory, whatever you do, you get to do you and I'll be around for when life allows. Thanks so much, CJ. I really appreciate it. Nice of you to say. Yeah, I'm definitely more of a chill streamer. I I know I, I'm, I'm going to add some video stuff both to the podcasts and to the streams. Um, I think I'm going to be bouncing my Lego camera back and forth between the Lego desk and my computer i can't justify buying a third camera um but if i get like a tripod shoe and I'll, i'm able to move it quickly then i might be able to do that um the tricky part is going to be where that camera actually sits and also just the logistics of of setting that up um but i do want to add like a face cam I think that the, I guess the slow growth for my channel is just because I don't do a lot of like Twitch interrupts. Like I'm not a big fan of people inter interrupting stream with noises and stuff like that. No, no shade to anybody that does it. Hey, if it's your game, it's your game. You know, um, that would be very distracting for me. I don't think I would be able to finish a sentence. Uh, yes, I saw the Lego that Coffee Stain tried to build on stream. Yeah, I've seen that before. Uh, there's a constructor and there's a train. Somebody built one of the trains as well. Uh, and Sandy, thank you very much. I did see your heads up earlier about the time. Uh, I'm just going to go until about four o'clock my time and then and then I'll wrap it up. Uh, so I guess the thing to check now is upstairs, right? Somewhere there's another tube that goes up. So we've got 25 on each level. My guess is that one of these top levels is not getting... Oh, that's massive. That's why we can see it from over here. It's just ginormous. Oh, 
Void Presence, thanks so much for the subscription. Yeah, 47%. So we still have a whole nother floor. Can I get up there? I totally can get up here. Man, this new jetpack is going to make a huge difference over here. I'd imagine what we're going to start seeing is, yeah, the ends of the floors are going to be flickering and not doing what they need to do. So one solution would be to turn off the um, guys at the end. Just do the math and figure out what so there's 25 on each floor. Two, three, four, five, I think. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus the one on the end. So it's twenty-five here, and on each wing it's twenty-five. Uh, so what we could do is turn off like five on the each end. What did I say? Sixteen floors. Sixteen bays of twenty-five. So if I did two forty. Sixteen bays of fifteen, so I'd have to turn off ten on each. Yeah, it's going to be worth. What's two forty divided by twenty five? Nine point six. That's annoying. So we get rid of the ones on the end as well, because then it's divided by twenty, right? 24, 10. So we could do 10 bays instead of 16. That doesn't divide into floors evenly. That's not a multiple of four. Maybe 30? Yeah. So we could reduce the number of floors and increase the size of them. Or I could go asymmetrical and have a smaller top floor. It is kind of a pain when you design the shape of this thing specifically for the number of fuel gens that you need. I could underclock too, Dan. That was something I mentioned earlier, yeah. Yep. And that's probably for the sake of the design. Might be the better way to go. Just so people know what I'm talking about, I'll give you guys a bird's eye view here. So there are four floors. Each floor is shaped like an X, and each floor is rotated 45 degrees as it goes up. So, uh, there's the first floor there, second floor, third floor, and then the fourth floor. So there's 100 in each floor because there's four arms on each floor. Um, without changing all the piping that's going up, as Dan suggested, one thing we could do would be to underclock um, or turn, like, it's not even underclocking, it's just turning them off. Right. So we could turn off the first 10, just have them be bypassed. Uh, there's no hard math, Dan. We just, we would turn, if we turned everything down to 60%, then it would work out. 
because it went the, the only thing that changed was each one of these machines went from consuming 12 to consuming 20. Um, we get the exact same power output from the four oil nodes. So the four oil nodes over here give us the same power output. Just use the switch on the machine. Oh yeah, no, you, we could totally just turn them off. No need to, oh yeah, no need to, to disconnect them. That's true. That's true. The other thing we could do would be delete the top two floors, right? Or delete the top floor. We'd have 200 and then we just have to put 40. So aesthetically, so forget the, the math of balance, but aesthetically what we could do is have 100 on the bottom floor, 100 on the second floor, and then have shorter um shorter bits so it would be it would be 10 instead of 25 the third floor would have 10 on it that could look okay i feel like that could work it won't look as impressive but it'll work mix screw gun has resubscribed at tier one for 41 months woohoo don't fall <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. As always, appreciate the support. Folks, if you've been watching and you've been enjoying this, uh, Twitch subs are 25% off this month. You get access to the Discord and you help me do more streams, which I'm hoping to do now that Satisfactory is out. However, the issue is that we can't get near Devastator and I don't know what's going on. I really feel like it's my file. I feel like there's something screwy going on with the actual factory. Unfortunately. So I'll let the autosave happen. We've got these nodes are all correct. Everything in there is good. Water extractors didn't change. Polymer resin didn't change. So I'm just curious. Zloy XP! Welcome in. Pixel Roos also raiding. Holy smokes. Let me get out here so there's not so much noise. Amazing. Thank you ever so much. Welcome in Raiders. Pixel Rips. Elden Ring co-op raid. Oh, you're playing co-op with uh, with Zloy. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Pixel Rips subbed. 72 months. Holy smokes. Thanks so much, Pix. I really appreciate it. Uh, Zloy, welcome in. Broken Physics, welcome in. Coming in with the Pixel Raid. Uh, folks, if you are unaware, uh, there's a, a good chance that you are. But I stream and podcast full-time. I am a half of the Spawn Chunks podcast. The other half, of course, being Pixel Riffs. A lot of the time I do stream Minecraft. Normally I stream Wednesday through Saturday, but today is Tuesday. And it's also launch day for this game, Satisfactory. And we have been battling game crashes all day um it appears to be my factory devastator that causes the crash as opposed to um the game itself if we don't play near devastator i seem to go do okay uh we just discovered that my power plant here is actually being more efficient than it used to be instead of 400 fuel generators that you see i only need 240 so I need to really figure out how to um, sort out the top of that. The good news is that we never finished building this. So tearing off the top floor really is of no consequence to me. Um, if anything, it might make it look a little bit nicer. 
a little bit more asymmetrical. But how was Elden Ring? Uh, did you guys enjoy the stream? You enjoy the the gameplay? Pix, I know you like taking folks through through Elden Ring. Uh, ads are playing for some. Ah, I see. Yes, that is one of the ways that I do support myself on on Twitch. Uh, folks, yes, if you have not already, please go and follow Pixel Riffs and go and follow Zloy XP on their respective Twitch channels. You should see uh, a little heart in chat that you can go ahead and click. If you're watching this later on YouTube, it's P I X L R I W F S for Pixel Riffs and Zloy Z L O Y X P for those Twitch channels. Appreciate the shout out in chat, Sandy. That's great. Folks can either follow those links or follow the hearts. Uh, but yeah, so I do stream this in Minecraft. Uh, I do some Lego streaming on Fridays. And um, we have been walking around and checking out the save, uh, changing some of the nodes. A few of the nodes got deleted. Um, some of it affects us, but some of it does not. The big change, I think, is really trying to figure out what's going on with Devastator and why it is broken. So I'm going to not go into Devastator now that I've got everybody here. We're going to go to the side. We had to reduce some of our graphics as well. The water does look better though. Might be an off camera fix, you're right. So this is my giant factory. Obviously still very much under construction. And somewhere in the middle of it, when we approach it, the game crashes. Two things that are not notoriously difficult to code are water and mirrors. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. See if I can navigate this on my own. Here we go. I have no idea. Oh, I'm also stuck. This is also a problem. The game tends to pop you out of these trains. And if you've got them recessed at all, you kind of get jammed up. That's new with update one. Also new is uh, project assembly, which is uh, what we are sending parts up from the space elevator for. This is the purpose of the whole the whole game and uh, that is very cool looking that was not there before <laughs> yes save thank you uh, save game so we've gone and checked Megatron And really, I don't think I've had any problems even just being out this far. It's very specifically a location within my base. So one of the things that I can do is potentially um, like look ahead, figure out what's going on in there. There's really not much happening in that area other than belts and all my storage. 
And I don't know what, and that's not automated storage. It's just basic storage. So I might be able to come in off camera and move stuff away from there. And then I could go into the satisfactory interactive map and just like delete a chunk out of the middle of this. It's not ideal, but if that's, like, I wish there was a way for me to figure out what within the factory was causing such a problem. Um, I don't want to redo this whole thing, but I'm also not sure where the crashes are occurring. We tend to be in this vicinity for about five minutes before it happens. I delete the sinks and let the factory back up the things that's that still get resources. Um, delete the sinks and let the factory back up on things that still get resources. I so I I don't know whether it's the sinks that's causing the problem. Less moving on the belts. Oh, I see what you mean. I could just turn off the sinks. Do that too. I don't know if that's the issue. I haven't heard anything. That's the other thing I've not been able to. And like, it's not, I don't think it's going to be a, a specific um, supported error. Like I think it's going to be very unique to my save, which is unfortunate. But, you know, um, on the dev stream today, Snut and uh, the other um, coffee stain person was saying that they did not want to restart. Right. And so it's designed to be able to update your save and not have to restart. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, I'm a like, I'm a little concerned. I really don't want to remove all of this. If anything, it's mostly the measuring. Like I think deleting Devastator, it's not so much the factory floors. Yes, there's some stuff I would like to not have to do again, but given that a lot of the ratios may have changed and there's new nodes in the area, I I could potentially do that. I could also shut off the miners from over here and have that be something that that slows down the factory a little bit. That could be one troubleshooting thing that I could do on my own, which would be to come in here and load up um, load up away from the main factory and then shut off. We've stopped the trains, so there's the trains are not going anymore. So really, it's only local nodes that are feeding the factory. And it doesn't look like the bauxite is moving, which is weird. Well... Bauxite wouldn't be moving because then we're not getting coal. So the only thing that's happening is the pure iron stuff is being made. And that's it. I wonder... I wonder if all of that is coming from those nodes over there. those belts moving too? Yes. So there's iron coming in from over there too. So it looks like the iron wing is the only thing that's actually going. The other thing that I could do, Sandy, would be uh, flip the switch and shut the pa power off and come back and see and see if that's going to be a thing. Transforming a Decepticon, right? Yeah. Um, deciphering the deception. Uh, this is unfortunately where I have to wrap up. I know that I just got a lovely raid from Pix and Zoy, um, but uh, I do need to go and take care of the rest of my day. I've been live since noon. It's four o'clock for me now. Uh, but I'll let you know if you want to come back and check this out. The plan for this is to turn this factory into Devastator, uh, which is the 1980s transformer combiner so that's why everything is kind of green and purple you can sort of see his chest plate in the distance there just like just that little little bit there that's not going to stay imagine that four times as large and up in like this space here 
So we're really going to go upscale with it. If I can save this factory and not have as many crashes, uh, then that's what's going to happen. We're going to go with, with Devastator. Um, and then, of course, in the distance, we also have uh, the power facility that I just showed you. Uh, that was based off of Megatron. Uh, the of course the Decepticon leader uh, mostly because of the colors but also like his his arm blaster is this big tube and I kind of turn that on its head and use that for inspiration um, we've got a few changes in the maps they have uh, added nodes they have removed some nodes they've changed the node density and purity on some uh, most of that doesn't affect us it's only been the ones that have been removed that have affected us and it's only the ones in the north because we really haven't built anything in the south in this map on this playthrough so um right now the i guess next thing is to progress in the man with the alien technology uh if i can figure out how to get into this save and not have it blow up in my face i.e crash the game um i am going to pass you all along to total eclipse i believe they're still live uh, let me just double check to make sure that they are. They've been streaming all day, so if there's a chance they may not be. Uh, no, they are indeed still live. Uh, they are playing Satisfactory. They will be very knowledgeable, uh, and uh, they started a new save today. So rather than coming into the game cold like you might be now, uh, I'm at like tier 8. Sat uh, Total Eclipse would be at tier 1 or 3 or something like that. Um, so... Thanks ever so much, everyone, for hanging out today. Thanks for coming to the unboxing if you did this morning for my new Sony camera. Um, I am able to upgrade the video in the studio for video podcasts because of you, because of the support of the Spawn Chunks, and because of the support on Patreon uh, at patreon.com slash Joel uh, You can join the Discord on Patreon for two bucks a month, or you can use a tier one sub here on Twitch. Uh, tier one subs are on sale for 25% off for September for the rest of the month. Uh, I really appreciate all the support. Sweet Sandy, thank you ever so much for the wonderful moderation today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, once again, thanks to Pix and to Zloy for the raid. And uh, I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I will be playing Minecraft, uh, but I will be probably also playing Satisfactory. You can expect probably a double stream tomorrow. Um, I might even be playing Satisfactory tonight. Whether or not I stream that will depend on whether or not I'm crashing every five minutes. So um, we'll see. Either way, I'm going to go hit the gym. Thanks again for a wonderful day, folks. I will catch you all tomorrow. Stay tuned for updates on the camera. I will be sharing on my Discord how that setup process goes. And you can look for the results on the latest episode of The Spawn Chunks uh, coming up next Monday. That will be the first time with a new camera, I hope. And uh, right now, there's a new one on YouTube. You can check that out. Episode 314 is up on YouTube right now at uh, The Spawn Chunks on YouTube. Thanks so much. I will see you all later. Bye for now.